Uh, hopefully, we finish this one this time. We're in the end game. We're in the end game. I am inevitable. Anyway, uh, we're on page 258 of Midnight Sun. Oh boy. Woohoo! 258, anyway. and we have to get to um, 264. 64. Mexico! Like <laughs> yeah. I breezed through the quiz at the end of the hour, and Mrs. Goff let me go early. I was listening intently to Mike as I walked across the campus. He decided to confront Bella about me. <laughs> Why? Because Jessica. Mike's a loser. Jessica swears they're dating. Why? Why did he have to peek her? Motherfucker, you have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just, let's cancel Mike. Like, I'd like to point out that from Mike's perspective, Edward hasn't really shown any signs of being unhealthy. Yeah. Like, like that is the whole thing. Like, uh, if someone I know were to start dating someone who was showing obvious red flags, I'd step them. in and say something. I wouldn't try to force the issue. Because that's just going to make it worse. But I'd step in and say something. So far, in the context of the school, Edward is just the weird, quiet, pale kid. <laughs> that's when you're just like, you want to date them? Uh, okay. <laughs> On With a you. friend, I might joke about their taste in men, considering that. But mm -hmm. unless they start showing red flags, like possessive behavior, uh, like, uh, uh, like possessive behavior... Uh, con uh, uh, like controlling or manipulative actions, stuff like that. I wouldn't confront them. And so far, in the context of the school, Edward has not. Yeah, he, Edward's just a loser. That's all. Like the only time we see these behaviors get confront, uh, start up, it's when it's just him and Bella on a one in one, one on one situation. Or a situation that only involves him, Bella, and his family. Or right now inside of Edward's head. Yeah. Sorry, I was Either taking way, a Yeah. Either way, this dude's just dumb. Oh, God. He didn't recognize the real phenomenon that she picked me. So? So what? She wondered. <laughs> you and Cullen, huh? You and the freak? Aw. I guess if a rich guy is that important to you. Oh my god. Mike, I'm going to shove your head up Edward's ass. <laughs> you can eat his shit. <laughs> because both of you are pissing me off. You know what? Just to make it even, I'll shove his head up your ass. That way it's an Ouroboros of idiot. <laughs> I gritted my teeth as his, at his degrading assumption. What degrade? What? Huh? <laughs> Aside from the fact that I guess if a rich guy is that important to you is a stupid line. <laughs> That's none of your business, Mike. It isn't. Defensive, so it's true. Crap. I don't like it. No one asked you, Mike. No one <laughs> asked you. You don't have to, she snapped. <laughs> like, I'm not taking Edward's side. I hate all of them. <laughs> no sides have beauty in this. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to beat them to death with each other's corpses. Just gonna grab each one by the ankle and slam them against each other repeatedly. I'm just looking at the light at the end of the tunnel, man. <laughs> Why can't she see what a circus sideshow he is? He's pale and quiet. He's pale, quiet, and keeps to himself. Yes, what a circus sideshow! Dear yeah. God, I hope that Mike never runs into an emo kid. <laughs> His head would probably explode. <laughs> 
<laughs> Especially person, if they got a girlfriend before him. <laughs> this person has has a back combed fringe hairstyle <laughs> and goes around wearing mostly just cut up uh like cut up uh like black denim or leather. What a freak show. <laughs> This also helps prove to the fact that nobody in the school is actually afraid of them. Everyone thinks they're freaks and weirdos. Freak! You're a freak! That's why everyone avoids them. It's because they're weird, not because they're afraid. Oh god, it's such a stupid thing! Oh god. Like they all are. The way he stares at her, it gives me chills to watch. The way, well, I will admit looks... that Edward does get stare at, at Bella in a really creepy way, probably, because he always wants to eat her. Well, yeah, but, again, teenagers. Yeah. They always stare creepily. <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you like like you're something to eat. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't ever go anywhere not in public with him until you really trust him, you know? <laughs> Here I am, looking like a snack. Edward just, like, pops up around the corner. Someone say snacks? <laughs> snack with two C's. <laughs> a snuck. Is it my turn? Yep. I cringed, waiting for We all response. are. <laughs> You're not the only one, don't worry. We're cringing at you cringing. Her face immedi- her face turned bright red, her lips pressed together like she was holding her breath. Suddenly, a tiny giggle burst through her lips. <laughs> now she's laughing at me. Great. We all are. <laughs> You're not exactly... You're not playing your big boy brain here, yeah. It's kind of easy to laugh at you. You're kind of an idiot. <laughs> Everyone laughs at the fool. Mike turned, thought sullen, and wandered off to change. <laughs> he comes back in pale skin. He had put on makeup. He covered himself in body glitter. Do you like me now? Dude, you have a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that that meant that he was out of gym, getting out of gym clothes. Yeah. I leaned against the gym wall and tried to compose myself. How could she have laughed at Mike at Mike's accusation? Because you're all idiots. <laughs> yeah. Also, if I were dating something that's known for normally eating human flesh and someone were to say to me, you know, he always looks at you like you're something to eat, I probably would be secretly laughing like, dude, you have no idea. <laughs> Here I am looking like a snack. <laughs> So entirely on target that I began to worry that Forks was becoming too aware. Well, you're terrible at hiding yourselves. Again, it's the conspicuous consumer thing. Yeah. You draw too much attention to yourselves. Buy your makeup from somewhere that isn't South Korea. That way you can make it to where your skin tone is like slightly darker than it than it is. That way you don't look like you'd catch fire. <laughs> yeah. Under a under a under a cat uh, uh, not cat uh, under a buff all you could eat buffet heat lamp. <laughs> uh, why would she laugh at the suggestion that I could kill her when she knew enti- and when she knew that it was entirely true? What? Where was the humor? <laughs> Again, it's always looking at you like you're something to eat. Oh, you have no idea. Here's another thing. I'm pretty sure a really determined bird could kill Bella too, so I'm pretty sure killing Ooh. someone isn't really the um, problem here because no, she knows even, you're not going to. <laughs> even birds that aren't that determined can kill most humans. Yeah. What was wrong with her? All it takes is one well aimed hummingbird. Er, one hummingbird with good aim. <laughs> what? <laughs> All it takes is one hummingbird with good aim. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, that thing's drinking nectar out of your jugular. <laughs> 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 oh, 
dear God, that man's obituary. <laughs> Killed by hummingbird. <laughs> you know, the thing that's about the size of your thumb. <laughs> Did she have a morbid sense of humor? That didn't fit with my idea of her character. I mean, you're also an idiot. Who creates a false image of people. Yeah. If Batman is canonically about 32, then he was born in 1986. If his parents were killed leaving a movie theater when he was 10 years old, then there is a very real possibility that we're seeing space chair. Makes you think. <laughs> Come on and slam, and welcome to the jail. <laughs> God damn it. But how could I be sure? Or maybe my daydream of the giddy angel was true in one is in one respect, in that she had no sense of fear at all. <laughs> you know what that means? She lives for danger. Does anyone here have seen Freddy vs. Jason? Nope. And why would you say it like that when there's only two people here? Are you awesome. addressing the audience? Are you expecting I'm, I'm them to make a comment? Everyone. <laughs> yeah, so you're addressing the audience of like two people <laughs> I expect a comment just that just says yes or no before you continue. So, like, I'm going to give everyone, like, two seconds to say yes or no. Okay. All right, go. <laughs> there's a really creative kill in that, in which what Jason does is uh, there's this one dude laying on a bed. Uh, it might have been a futon of memory serves. But basically what he does is he walks in behind him, stabs him several times in the back with a machete, and then grabs both ends of the bed and folds it in half on the man, snapping his spine. Oh, God. I want to do that to Edward. <laughs> I want oh, to kill him with a bed. Bro, do it. Problem is, he doesn't sleep. So he'd never oh. be in one. Do that thing right. you do in Steven Universe where you're just like... Try it. <laughs> I'm too proud to sleep. <laughs> Rave. <I'm dumb. laughs> that was one word for it. Others might say stupid, but I knew how pretty she was. <laughs> We're talking about a character who sees Romeo and Juliet as a love story and not, you know, a cautionary tale. And a tragedy at that? <laughs> no matter what the reason... Uh, reason, though. This lack of fear or twisted sense of humor wasn't good for her. Yeah. This, I... Was it this strange lack of fear uh, that put her in danger so constantly? Motherfucker, she trips over her own feet! <laughs> <laughs> Every day is dangerous to her. She might hit her head and get a coma. <laughs> Maybe she would always need me. Uh... <sighs> Just like that, my mood was soaring while ours was declining. I fucking hate that protectorate, like, protectorate relationships romantically. God damn it. Unless they are literally paid to be your bodyguard, and for some reason you start fucking them. And now I just thought, oh god, what's that, uh, what's that one show called? Uh, basic, I, I think it might have been The Bodyguard or something like that, but... But it caused, like, this one hilarious thing to happen because of the fact that, uh, it was an English show. And the whole thing is the bodyguard called the woman he was, uh, hired, hired by ma'am. But it was with an English accent, so it was ma'am. 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 So it kind of sounded like mom? Yes, ma'am. And so, <laughs> at one point, uh... Like, at one point, like, this is a whole thing of, like, a romantic and sexual relationship starts up between the two, and American audiences the entire time heard him referring to her as Mom. <laughs> mom. So, a, a good portion of the American audience for a bit thought that it was incest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Yeah. Which is like, quite possibly the funniest misunderstanding. Yeah. I'm just wondering if he called her if he called her ma'am while they were going at it. <laughs> Bit faster. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> if I could just discipline myself. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 
<laughs> make myself safe, then perhaps it'll be right for me to stay with her. Hey. You know, if you actually worked on improving yourself instead of just talking about improving yourself, this might actually be interesting, but it's not. F. Because of the fact that there's no character development in this entire series. Like, no actual character development. It's just suddenly, oh, hey, the characterization of this character, of this person is different. Yeah. No no build-up, no graduality to it, no, nothing. Yeah. It's your line. <laughs> Sorry. When she... When she walked through the gym door, so her shoulders were stiff and her lower lip was between her teeth again, a, slight, a sign of anxiety... But as soon as her eyes met mine, her rigid shoulders relaxed and a wide smile spread across her face. It was an oddly peaceful expression. She walked right into my side without hesitation. Only stopping when she was close, so close that her body heat crashed <clears throat> oh, sorry, over me like a tidal wave. For a second, I thought you said she walked right into my side without hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> just like, Beelon just slams into him. <laughs> Edward! <laughs> you know what? If there were a couple like that, that might actually be kind of funny. It might be a bit cute. You could just have the serious po-faced one, and then you have the happy-go-lucky one. That's yeah. a dynamic that can work. This isn't that. Ah. Hi, she whispered. Hi. All right, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, just what the fuck? The happiness. The fuck? Is it Minecraft? No, it's just I I found something really interesting. Oh boy. Do I want to know? It's a uh, you know like those um Hunger Game that Hunger Games simulator people used to have? Yeah, yeah, I actually have that one bookmarked. I found a Danganronpa one. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally the same thing, but it's the killing game. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this person was turned into butter. Oh, no. Butter. Have you seen okay. Danganronpa or, like, played the games? Played all th I've yeah I've played all three. Okay, so you remember that execution? <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I uh, that one was actually based off of like an old fairy tale. Really? Yeah, basically like uh, involved basically this whole thing where like this person escaped from tigers by climbing up a tree and they ended up like basically like running around the base of it so fast that they churned themselves. Wow. So literally, the tigers turned in butter. And that character, if memory serves, was kind of somewhat based on a tiger. Thematically. I see. I, see. I did not say Siri. Fuck off. <laughs> I see Siri. Exactly. I'm sorry. I didn't quite get that. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. The happiness I felt in this moment was again without president. <laughs> without president. <laughs> Uh, hello? Uh. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello? Uh, Edward, I, uh, I do believe, uh, that this is a bad idea on your part. Uh, not, not because, uh, that you're, uh, uh, a vampire, but, uh, because you're an idiot. Yeah. Now, uh, if you'll excuse me, I have to go watch the Game Grumps. <laughs> Did you see that animation? No. Oh, wait, the Obama one? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the other joke was going to be Homestuck, so. Hello? I said. And then, because my mood suddenly... Uh, then, because with my mood suddenly so light, I couldn't resist teasing her, I added... How was Jim? Oh, he was great. <laughs> he was great. <laughs> what a Your nice man. Wavered. Fine. 
She was a poor liar. Yeah. Really? I asked, about to press the issue. I was still concerned about her head. <sighs> was she in pain? But then Mike Newton's thoughts were so loud they broke my concentration. <laughs> I hate him. I wish he would die. I hope he drives that shiny car right off a cliff. Why couldn't he just why couldn't he just leave her alone? Stick to his own kind, to the freaks. She's also a she's also a pale, quiet weirdo. Yeah, calm down, she's Mike. Also, she's, she's basically just a squishier version of the Cullens. Oh no, they killed Hajime. <laughs> what? Hajime died. <laughs> Are you playing the thing? Yeah, I'm doing the killer game right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bella demanded. No, Hi. what? Bella demanded. Mice refocused on her face. She looked at Mike's retreating back and then at me again. Newton's getting on my nerves, I admitted. Boy. He's getting on everyone's nerves. Yeah. That's why you, uh... You, uh... That's why you bully him. Her mouth fell open and her smile just appeared. She must have forgotten that I'd had the power to watch through her cal... Calamit... Calamitous. Through her calamitous last hour, or hope that I hadn't utilized it. You were listening again? As your head. Fuck you. <laughs> it's not the issue. You're unbelievable, she said through her teeth, and then she turned away from me and stalked fiercely toward the parking lot. Her skin flushed dark red. She was embarrassed. I'd be pretty upset if my SO was spying on me. That's invasion of privacy. You no, no, privacy. got executed. Fail. My life don't revolve around you. I have stuff outside you. Yes, we're dating, but I still have stuff outside you. <laughs> like me. At this moment. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Maybe later I'll be inside you. Yeah. Oh, damn it. oh, here we go. I can adjust the people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that sentence in a bubble. Here we go, I can adjust the people. Yeah. What? What? I kept pace with her, hoping that her anger would pass soon. She was usually quick to forgive me. Uh, you shouldn't always count on that. You're the one who mentioned how I'd never seen you in gym, I explained. It made me curious. That doesn't mean you spy on them in gym. You ask, yeah, yeah, I see, <laughs> there is a problem here. You wait until she's no longer inside Jim. Wait. What? <laughs> <laughs> you see, because it's also a name. She didn't answer, her eyebrows pulled together. <laughs> she pulled her eyebrows together, oh no. <laughs> She came to a sudden halt in the parking lot when she realized that the way to my car was blocked by a crowd of male students. I'm going to throw you through them, Edward, to make a path. Do it. No balls. <laughs> Do it. You won't. <laughs> oh, God. I just. Uh, have you watched anything from Tom Fox? No. Uh, he's a member of, like, the Derp Crew, which in includes, like, Chilled Chaos, Zero Viking, and their friends. Never heard of any of those people. They also do stuff with Rooster Teeth. Okay, I barely listen to Rooster Teeth stuff, though. But, uh, like... Which, uh... Tom Fox has also done a couple voices for, uh, TFS. Oh, okay. He was the... He was the Nazi soldier with the Tootsie Pop. Oh. But... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. But, uh, like, one of the things... Uh... Uh, one of the things Tom is known for, uh, like, Tom's more of a Twitch streamer than a YouTuber. Oh. And on one of his Twitch highlights, he was playing Stardew Valley with a friend. And one okay. of the people in, like, Twitch chat said, propo uh, like, proposed to her, uh, like, proposed to her in the game. And she responded with, do what you won't. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't know, it just sounds like she starts just like kind of like panicking, like, I don't know, it just seemed like the thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> Propose to her, do it, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> just 
like the weirdest thing to say when someone tells you to uh, when someone tells a friend of you to propose to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do it. You won't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking coward. Do it. <laughs> Because it's like, like he's confused. Like, wait, how am I supposed to take this? Yeah. Are you calling me a coward? Or are you challenging me to propose to you? And she's just like, I don't know what I meant. <laughs> like, the entire situation was so weird. Because <laughs> they're both just panicking, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. <laughs> like, it just seemed like the natural thing to say that. Yeah. There's also this whole thing that while he was playing Hitman 2, he made a point to get take the fish and use that almost exclusively. Yeah, well, I mean, fish is the best weapon, so... Oh, yeah, he started singing a parody of Love Shack called Fish Slap. <laughs> and it turns out that the NPCs will sometimes comment on, the, on, uh, on, like, an odor if you're carrying around the fish. Makes sense. And so literally him hiding in a, like lying in a coffin pretending to be a dead body at a wake. And one of the people walks up to the coffin, looks over to say, like, leans over to pay their respects and just goes, wait, what's that smell? <laughs> uh, fish slap is a little old thing. Wonder how fast they've gone in this thing. Oh, my God. About like a three. <laughs> yeah, it has a speed of 30 feet. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, sorry. Uh, is it my line? Yes. Speed. I am. Look at. Speed. Look at. Yeah. Look at the SMG shift paddles. SMG shift paddles? I've never seen those outside of a magazine. What the fuck? Are they shooting someone? No, they're talking about Edward's car. Nice side grills. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna... Side grills, car. <laughs> Who the fuck would specifically mention the side grills? I don't know. Car, car aficionados? I found me. <laughs> oh, God. Do we now have Ichi Tan scale Sona? What? Do you not I see the picture me? that. <laughs> the fucking candy colored Velociraptor? Give me a second. Hold on, actually, now. <laughs> Where the I'm fuck is it? I'm sick and curious. <laughs> oh, God, I can't do a good Johnny Bravo impersonation. I'm a sickened, but a curious. Wah, whoa. Whoa, mama. Hey, baby, has anyone told you that I have beautiful eyes? Hold on, I gotta post my furry. <laughs> Oh god damn it, is that the one that uh Yes <laughs> Yes Dear God <laughs> Why Because Because That's all I'm gonna say to that. Fuck you, because Nah I'm the pastel lizard person that conspiracy theorists warn you about. Okay, nice. well, now since it's a conspiracy theorist thing, I have to ask. <laughs> but are you Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of those whole common conspiracy theories that Jews run the world. Oh. I mean, they have a lot of money, if I recall. <laughs> but that was just more of a religious problem, because I think Christians weren't allowed to actually run. To do yeah, yeah, despite the fact that the Christian religion is basically just a derivation of Judaism. Therefore, a lot of the rules in Christianity are also present in Judaism. But it's just that Christians were so stead like steadfast in that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that, like, Jewish people just had to be like, fuck it, I'll do it myself. 
<laughs> if if you won't help bigger. me, then I will. <laughs> if you won't run the bank. <laughs> I have to now. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway. On. Second, hold on. I mentioned the side grills. But yeah, the side grills are just the thing that vents air from the fucking, uh... Yeah. The thing that contains the wheel. There's a word for it. Wheel arch? No. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, that's all that's for. Like, who the fuck would be, like, nice side grills? Rims, I could understand. Yeah. Anyway, it's your line. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by fucking Danganronpa. <laughs> God damn I mean, so let's see. You could have showed Ichi Tan your Danganronpa uh, OC. <laughs> I could show them that. <laughs> but they were doing scaly stuff. <laughs> so you had to show her your dragon soda. <laughs> yeah. I just love how stupidly memey it is, too. <laughs> well, yes, you specifically asked for that. Yeah, that, and that's why it's great. Like, hey, give me disturbingly large tits. <laughs> that's that's why they're all hidden under the box. Yeah. I mean, granted, I used to know a guy who had, like, the old cowgirl fetish, so there was that. <laughs> Utters and all. <Ooh. laughs> Which I think Ooh. that's generally where I draw the line. Yeah. Like, sure, ears, tail, horn, hell, digigrade legs, sure. Yeah. Utter not so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're getting on your line. Yeah, yeah, I know. Let's uh, see. Uh, uh, sure wish I had $60,000 lying around. <laughs> we all do. You aren't fucking special, dude, ad admiring Edward's car. <laughs> You know, this story really makes me lash out. <laughs> I don't think this is a healthy influence. Yeah. That's a being a baby pig. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Which was that one? Bass? Uh, not ba uh Not Bass. Yeah, Bass God. Uh... Uh, because there was a pagan god who was basically like the god of curfews, almost. Curfews? Basically, he was like this wolf, uh, like this, like, horned wolf monster that would punish those that stayed out, uh, that would, like, uh, stay out too late. Really? Yeah. Uh, let me find his... Uh, because, like, depending on where you go with it, he's either a god or a demon. Ah. Uh, let me see. Ah. Yeah, uh, Gyako. In Basque mythology, Gyako is the spirit of the night. He does not allow humans to do certain works outside the house during the night. He especially punishes those who try to show off as brave during the night, braving to not, uh, uh, boasting of not fearing the darkness. He is considered to be a devil in some accounts, a gentil or gentilic divinity in others. So, could be a god, might be a demon. Ah. Uh. Was this some... just to scare kids to stay out, just to not stay out? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, that's why I jokingly called him the god of curfew. Uh -huh. uh, in some cases, he makes his presence felt as a gust of wind as he pronounces these words, Gaio Gyakorentzat Egyuns Korekt Zat I'm not Basque. The night of Gyako, one of, uh, which translates to the night for Gyako, the one of the night, the day for the one of the day. Sometimes he appears in the shape of a cow, sometimes in that of a monster. I see. Uh, 
But yes, there's always Gyako. God of curfews. Yeah. I mean... Nope. God damn it. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why that's the one my mind immediately jumped to. Who knows? All right, let's see. Anyway, this was exactly why it was better for Rosalie to use her uh, to only use her car out of town. I wound through the throng of lustful boys to my car after a second of hesitation. Bella followed suit. God damn it, they all want to fuck his car. Or his sister's car. Yeah. That's stupid. Oh, God. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not really much of a car guy, but... Yeah, I'm not either, so I don't really get it either. Ostentatious, I muttered as I climbed in. <laughs> what? Okay, cool. What kind of car is that, she wondered. An M3. She frowned. I didn't. I don't speak car and driver. It's a BMW. I rolled my eyes and then focused on backing out without running anyone down. Run him over, run him over, run him over. Crazy taxi theme just starts playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points. Uh, I, lock, I had to lock eyes with a few uh, boys that didn't seem willing to move out of my... I get that they're teenagers, but how fucking stupid are they? Very. A half second meeting my gaze seemed enough to convince them. And it didn't work. <laughs> but it didn't convince them. Are you still angry? I asked her. Her frown had relaxed. Definitely. She said yep. curtly. <laughs> I sighed. Maybe I should shouldn't have brought it up. Oh well, I could try to make amends, I suppose. Will you forgive me if I apologize? No. She thought. She thought about that for a moment. Maybe, if you mean it, she decided. And if you promise not to do it again, it seems completely reasonable, honestly. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Your line. Is it really? Yes. Page 261. I wasn't going to lie to her, and there's no way I was going to agree to that. Perhaps Go if I fuck yourself, a Edward. different exchange. You know one of the important things about a relationship? Trust. Respecting and... each other's privacy. That too. <laughs> Sometimes, you don't want to get your SO involved in something. Other times, you just don't want your SO spying on you. Yeah. Oh, God. How about if I mean it? And I let you drive this Saturday. I cringed internally at the thought. Just let the motherfucker drive. For real. God. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's the whole thing. I'm not respecting another person's autonomy. Yeah. The furrow popped into existence between her eyes as she considered the new bargain. Deal, she said after a moment of thought. Thank Bella, fuck, I get, to I get to drive my own truck. Yeah. Now for my apology. I never tried to dazzle Bella on purpose before, but now it seemed like a good time. I stared deep into her eyes as I drove away from the school, wondering if I was doing it right. You're not. I used my most persuasive tone. Bella, you a bitch. You a bad bitch. No, you're not. She's not. Damn, yeah, very She's sorry. Like... I upset you. No, you're not, Edward. Yeah. For and real. Bella's not cool enough to be a bad bitch. Yeah. Sadly. Jennifer Ford, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I still love that. Just smug look. Bella's up front. Easy point. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love that. <laughs> Jennifer's not here to make friends. She's here to win. It's badminton <laughs> called that. I'm here to win. 
Her heartbeat thudded loud, louder than before, and her rhythm was abruptly staccato, her eyes wide and looking a bit stunned. Stunned. <gasps> oh my god, he admitted wrongdoing. I half smiled. It seemed like I'd gotten it right. Of course, I was having a bit of difficulty looking away from her eyes, too. <laughs> Equally dazzled, it was a good thing I had the road memorized. That and doesn't mean you should look away from it. <laughs> Suddenly, somebody on the other side of the road goes into me. <laughs> It's like that one shitty country song, Body Like a Back Road. <laughs> Got a body like a back road, drive it with my eyes closed. Don't do that! <laughs> I don't care how well you have the road memorized, keep your eyes open. Yeah. He, he's just really? dumb. I think it was the same song that like only had one line I actually liked, and it was like, Got Curves Like Honey. So thick and so sweet. <laughs> That's actually not a bad line. That's not a bad line. Yeah. Other than that, no. <laughs> Comparing someone's body to a back road is a terrible thing to do. <laughs> yeah. She's got a body like a back road, you know, covered in dirt, occasional dead deer. <laughs> Whenever it's windy, sometimes dust starts flying into your face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> grass everywhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, sorry. I'm... I keep Weird getting myself lumps. distracted. My bad. Oh, God. So, uh, Toby Fox see. released a, just a song. Oh. And a picture of Deltarune. Wait, Tom Fox or... Toby. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I swear you said Tom Fox. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> they don't sound right. Yeah. And I'll be on your do uh and I'll be on your doorstep bright and early Saturday morning, I added, finishing the agreement. Yeah. Oh shit. I'm getting distracted by bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I interrupted her? Uh no. She blinked swiftly. She blinked swiftly, shaking her head as if to clear it. Um, she said, it doesn't help that the Charlie situation. If an unexplained Volvo is left in the, in the driveway. <laughs> hey, Charlie, can you watch Edward's Volvo? <laughs> the weekend. Do I get to drive it a bit? No. Oh. Well, I'm just sad. Let Mustache Dad take the Volvo for a test spin. <laughs> he deserves it. <sighs> He's just trying to relate to his daughter who has who he hasn't seen in years. <laughs> he's a good man with a nice mustache. Yeah, that's why he's that's why he's the mustache dad. Oh yeah. Let's see sh how she started to ask. No, I, I don't think I said my line. And how? Ah, uh, uh, no, wait. ah, how little she knew me. I wasn't intending to bring a car. Then how she started to ask, which was your line, so I guess I'll just move on to my line. Ah, uh, okay. Still there. Uh, I interrupted her. Dick. The answer will be hard to explain without a demonstration. I can move really fast. <laughs> And now is hardly the time. Don't worry about it. I'll be there. No car. I can move really fast. Again, it's not hard to explain. And I'm going fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Gotta uh, go fast. Uh, Gotta do my taxes fast. Uh, meow. What? Uh, meow. She put her head on the side and looked for a second like she was going to press more. Then she seemed to change her mind. She put yeah. her head on one side. When did she suddenly become a doula hawk? <laughs> Again, something that would probably make the story a lot more interesting. <laughs> yeah. It just removes head. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Edward, hold this. Shit. <laughs> Again, at some point, I need to make that other doula hawk variant type character. If only because the idea of your doula hawk and them meeting would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what the actual shit? Just floating head. 
Rear's kind of just like, ooh, I know I should have paid attention to the magic class. <laughs> I I was planning on making them a monk. <laughs> Rurush is not a very magically inclined Dulahan, that's all. Because I'm just imagining the idea of them just having their head floating right above their body while their body's doing all, like, these crazy kickflips and shit. <laughs> Sometimes their head just gets left behind as the body starts, like, flipping around and shit. Yeah, and the whole thing is that, uh, basically, the way it would work would require variant rules, which is why I would probably have to uh, want to do that when Tom's DMing. <laughs> ah. Because he's someone I could better, like, work that stuff out with. Mm-hmm. Unless you were to suddenly DM a campaign. Uh, oh god, Ruru shows up as an NPC. <laughs> mm-mm, mm-mm. I'm telling you now, if she ever did, don't trust her. <laughs> she would either steal all your shit or let you die and then steal your shit. Do not trust her. Oh yeah. Oh god, the murder hobo as the, in- as the DM. Mm-hmm. Is it later yet? She asked, reminding uh, me of our oh, yeah. unfinished conversation in the cafeteria today. <laughs> She'd let go of one difficult question just to return to another one that was more unappealing. You did both that one and the one before it. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it is later, I agreed willingly. Uh, unwillingly. Unwillingly? Yeah, I he's, parked in he's front really of bending her. over backward to accommodate her. Free will. I know, right? I parked in front of her house, tensing as I try to think of how to explain, without making it my monstrous nature too evident, without frightening her again. Or was that wrong? To minimalize my darkness. Oh my god. I think god. you should be worried about Mustache Dad just rolling outside to see her daughter in your car. <laughs> again, I'm, I'm thinking back to that one thing where he was cleaning his shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, uh, Edward, uh, uh, would you be okay if Edward uh, Edward were to come over? Uh, I guess so. Depends on when it is. He's outside. All right. <laughs> Send him in. <laughs> Again, the fact that he says everything deadpan does lead me to believe that it is probably a joke. Yeah. Similar to when he reacted to his uh, to Bella's friends just, like, acting like idiots outside the window of the diner that her and her dad were eating at to get her attention, just being like, uh, I think your friends want to talk to you. <laughs> like the man has understated reactions, so I do kind of I am kind of inclined to believe that that was just kind of a morbid joke and not I will shoot my daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. Cause that would be a bit unhealthy. Yeah. Uh okay. Go. Uh the uh there's the picture of the thing that caused me to think that a dual Han monk would be a hilarious idea. She waited with the same polite, uh, politely interested mask she'd worn at lunch. If I'd been less anxious, her preposterous claim would have made me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine that rolling up on you. Mm-hmm. Just, <laughs> I'm gonna kick you, <laughs> and you're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna kick you, and the weakest part of my body is far away. What are you going to do? <laughs> Well, it's kind of a whole thing. Like the head has a separate uh, next, de- uh, like a separate AC if it's in a different space than the body. Nice. Because you can pretty basically... low. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'll have to open the thing back up to see what exactly it was. Because basically, your head is able to fly. Yeah. And so it's a whole thing of you can have your head hovering right above your body, so it's more like you just don't have a neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it has the same AC as your body, if that happens. But if you have it, like, floating in a different space, it's a different AC, plus it has temporary hit points. Yeah. So, uh, like, it has temporary hit points, and then once those are depleted, it's the same amount as hit points as your body, and it then uh, has weakness to, like, bludgeoning, slashing, and piercing. Oh. Yeah. So it's a whole thing, is, like... During a fight, you can make things easier for yourself by, like, moving your head farther away from the fight. I think there's also a height limit to how high, high up it can be. Kitch, shoot it into the air at 100 feet. <laughs> Just look at the battle from above. I see all. <laughs> <laughs> I've God. opened my third eye. I'm just imagining that whole thing of, like, uh, like an enemy that, uh, like, the whole reaction whole thing of like reactions for like if an opponent you can see tries to hit you and it's just every opponent 
<laughs> like, I have Overwatch on the entire battle. Is it my turn to read? Uh, I believe so. She waited? No. I well, said that one. And? And? It's right you? above well. Yep. Still? God damn it! <laughs> what? <laughs> to know why you can't see me hunt, I asked? Well, mostly I was wondering about your reaction, she said. Uh, fuck you. Did? Did I frighten you, I asked? Positive that she would deny it? No, it's more just the fact that you flew off the handle. Like an idiot. Yeah. No. No. Here. I tried not to smile and failed. I apologize for scaring you, and then my I smile... just said you didn't scare me, you dumbass. And then my smile vanished with a memory, with a momentary humor. It was just the very thought of you being there while we hunted. Again, it's more the fact that you just like, no, you can't see me hunt. I absolutely forbid it. Me. No. Me. No. God, she's not made of fine china. And if she was, you really need to reconsider your taste in women. No offense <laughs> to any automatons or golems out there. Those don't exist. <laughs> I'm an artificial human being made out of a, fra a very fragile substance. <laughs> <laughs> I feel degraded because you say I'm not date. Uh, I'm not girlfriend material. <laughs> F. <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah. Very, very bad. The mental picture was too much. Bella, so vulnerable in the empty darkness, myself out of control. I tried to banish the thought from my head. Extremely. Literally, all you do is you kill the animal and drain its blood from a single bite. It's not like the fucking vampires from uh, Supernatural, in which, the, like, the ones that were feeding on animals would rip open a cow and feed off its blood. <laughs> like, that's, uh, like, it's not like you're actively ripping the thing's throat out. Yeah. Like the way you're describing it, there's no real true brutality to it. It's just, and the thing's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and it's dead now. Like, oh, God. The only way that would be shocking is with how quick it is. Yeah. Oh, that was God. more so that he'd lose control and end up attacking her, and that's why he doesn't want her there. I mean, that's possible, but I doubt that's what he thinks it. Uh, I doubt that's his reasoning. Yeah. Uh, because? Because? I said the because. Because. Now it's your I line. took a deep breath. Then I released. Boy. Boy. <laughs> boy! I took a deep breath. Then Bella. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Constantly>. fuck! <laughs> Concentrating for one moment on the burning thirst. Feeling it. Managing it. Providing it. Prov proving, proving my dominion over it. I would never, it would never control me again. I willed that to be true. I would be safe for her. I will I put out, on a condom. Good. I stood out the welcome clouds without seeing them, wishing I could believe that my determination wouldn't make any difference if I were hunting when I crossed her scent. Okay, so I guess that might be the reason. But the way he's been acting this entire time, it seemed like it was less that and more the fact that I can't let her see me kill a thing. Yeah. Also, if he had put on a condom, that would prevent the worst character in existence happening in the books. In the context of the books. The worst character in the context of the books. That being their daughter. Yeah. Who no one liked. None of the like fans of the series absolutely hated Renesmee. Really? Yeah. That's a shame. Partly because of the fact that the moment she appeared, everyone's characterization changed drastically for no real reason. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How so? Well, for one, that's what caused uh, Bella to turn into a vampire. And the moment that happened, she went from like someone that could pass for a relatable main protagonist character in uh, the whole blank slate way of just, everything is cool and awesome. I'm great. Look at me. I'm amazing. 
Oh, really? That's what happened to Bella? <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh, no. Uh, Bella, as well as the whole thing of, like, the, the point Edward was making throughout the books was, the reason why I'm attracted to you is your humanity. The fact that you're vulnerable, vulnerable and not, uh, and all that stuff is what endears this, uh, endears me to you, uh, endears you to me. Now, if that had actually been shown in the books, that'd actually be kind of interesting. But instead, it's the whole condescending thing. Instead of a respect for her being able to live her life despite her apparent fragility in comparison to her, it's always condescending, but I, I'm not going to get too into it. But the moment she turned into a vampire, it was just like, oh, well, that entire side, pl that entire, like, conflict is dropped. <laughs> yeah. Like, no conversation on it, nothing. Just, you're a vampire, you're better now. F. There was also the fact that it was revealed that, uh, well, before the baby was born, Jacob was revealed to have imprinted on the fetus. There's That's all sorts weird. of shit to get into. The fact that there are nope. so many cases of of shape like Native American shapeshifter imprintation that happened with involving adult men and underage girls, yeah. as well as the implication that the entire reason for the love triangle was the fact that Jacob had apparently imprinted on one of her eggs. What if that egg got like? Launched out instead. <laughs> you mean like ejected during, like, use yeah, like period? Yeah, or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Oh God. He's God. just like holding onto her tampon. Oh God. I feel a really weird attachment to this used trash can. <laughs> I mean, to this full trash can, and I can't figure out why. <laughs> and then he just he starts digging in the actual dump. Ah. Ah oh, man. Before anyone says anything, the reason why I'm kind of grossed out by this is the same reason I don't like used band-aids. They're disgusting. It's, it's a rag covered in blood. Yeah. It's not a periods are gross thing. I really couldn't give a shit either way with that. Yes, the problem here is just, you know... The fact that it's, that it's a thing covered in someone's blood. <laughs> Yeah. I couldn't give half a shit which hole it went in. <laughs> God. Uh, anyway, uh, when we I... hunt, we give ourselves over to our senses. I told her, thinking each word, uh, thinking through each word before I spoke it. Govern less with our minds, especially our sense of spell. If you were anywhere near me when I lost control that way, I shook my head in agony at the thought of what would, not what could, but what would surely happen then. Yeah, see, so he's worried about numbing on her. Okay, it's just the whole way he's been acting, it seemed more like he was worried that she, a fair lady such as her couldn't handle the sight of him killing a mountain lion. No, he literally thinks he's gonna kill her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think you could this... forgive me for the way I thought it was going. Yeah. I listened to the spike in her heartbeat and then turned restless to read her eyes. Hey. Bella, are you in there? Bella, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, Bella? Is my line still? Uh, no. Bella's face was composed, her eyes grave, her mouth just uh, pursed just slightly in what I guessed was concern. But concern for what? Her own safety or my anguish? I continued to stare at her, trying to translate her ambiguous expression into sheer fact. Okay, the two of you refuse to think about anything other than each other. Yeah. In a way that's supposed to be present, uh, that's supposedly presented as true love, but is really just unhealthy obsession. Yeah. Next page. Next page. Now it's you. She gazed back. Her eyes grew wider for a moment, and then her pupils dilated, though the light had not changed. Okay, I'm gonna say my line, and then I'm gonna go to the bathroom quick. So I guess Bet. you're gonna have Can to I keep, just keep people... reading. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna speed read. Gonna read speed and make the jokey speed. jokes. My Not breath accelerated. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, come on, man. My breath accelerated, and suddenly the co quiet in the car seemed to be humming. Just, uh, just yeah. like the, in the darkened biology room this afternoon, the pulsing current raced between us, and my desire to touch her, uh, touch her, was briefly stronger than the demands of my thirst. You were, you're always thirsty, you bitch. I have an extreme thirst. 
Oh shit, did you just say that and leave? Oh fuck, shit, my speed- I didn't even get to start the timer. The throbbing electricity made it feel like I had a pulse again. My body sang with it, like I was human. More than anything in the world, I wanted to feel the heat of her lips against mine. For one second, I struggled desperately to find the strength to- the, the strength, the control, to be able to put my mouth close to her skin. And then end up biting it, probably. She sucked in a ragged breath, and only then did I realize that when I had started breathing faster, she had stopped breathing altogether. I closed my eyes, trying to break the connection between us. No more mistakes. Bella's existence was tied to a thousand delicately balanced chemical processes all so easily disrupted. The, the rhythmic expansion of her lungs, the flow of oxygen, was life or death to her. The fluttering cadence of her fragile heart could be stopped by so many stupid accidents or illnesses. Or by me. I did not believe that any member of my family would hesitate if he or she were offered a chance back. If he or she could trade immortality for mortality again. Any one of us would stand and fire for it. Burn for so burn burn for as many days or centuries as were necessary. Most of our kind, kind prized immortality above anything else. There were even humans who craved this, who searched in dark places for those who could give them the blackest of gifts. Where, not us. Where, where not are you? my family. We would trade anything to be human. I mean, not one of them is only because of the fact that, oh, she's a woman. She wants to have a baby. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, sure, that's how that works. Where are you? Bottom of the page. Which page? But, but uh, the same page we're on. Oh, same page? Uh, yeah, okay. But none. But none of us had ever been as desperate uh, for a way back as I was now. Shut up, Edward. <laughs> again, Rosalie wants a kid but can't have one because vampire. I then again, stare. it's it, for the stupid reason of I am woman, but... I thought it was because her kids would be, you know... Well, no, because of the fact evil. that uh, vampire women can't conceive. Because they have evil babies? Or is that just no. evil uh, it, it, well, okay, it's the whole thing that if you were to turn a baby into a vampire, it would basically create a destruction, uh, an, an engine, engine of destruction, because of the fact that people are naturally drawn to vampires in this universe, and so you'd have it to where people would just be, like, going out of their way to help this baby that they find on the ground crying, and then, because it's a baby, it can't control its thirst, and kills the person who just picked it up, and r rinse and repeat. Just fucking adopt a kid. And then when they come of age, I guess turn them into a vampire or some shit so you don't have to bury them. Or you fuck with them. <laughs> and just be like, Mom, Dad, how come you don't age? Uh, we have a great skincare regimen. And then you slowly outlive your kids, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Uh, I stared at the microscopic pits and flaws in the windshield like there was some solution hidden in the glass. The electricity had not faded, and I was to concentrate to keep my hands on the wheel. This is kind of like that whole thing of how Superman's able to see atoms, but the whole thing is that he's Superman. He has infinite power, technically. Superman can see atoms? Yes. That must be annoying. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it's more that he has to, like, focus his vision to be able to see that small regularly. Yeah, I'm surprised. That I really... Superman feels like he should be, like, from some so weird... Like, some sort of weird war-torn torn planet of, like, super beings. <laughs> like, like this, like, he's pretty much a Saiyan. Well, no, he's beyond that, because he just straight up doesn't have a limit. The only limits he has are self-imposed, caused by his own mind, and the fact that he sees himself as human. Yeah. Well, like, like, like his people should have been taking over the universe. Well, the whole thing is that it all depends on, like, the sunlight that they're under. Because of the fact that Krypton had a red sun, they weren't that powerful on that world. And I guess they just weren't aware of it. Yeah, they didn't realize what happened if they were to go under a yellow white sun. All right. Because a white sun, which is even hotter than a yellow sun, supercharges them. So does blue suns, then, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, blue sun. I guess I meant more blue sun than white sun. Yeah, because when I think white star, I think white dwarf. Oh, yeah, not that kind. But like, uh, like a hotter sun. Yeah. Uh, did you finish your line? With the electricity not fading? 
yeah. Okay. My right hand began to sting without pain again from when I touched her. What the Bella? Fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Bella, I think you should go inside now. She obeyed at once without comment. Yeah. Later, loser, she says, flipping me off as she got out of the car. See, that would be interesting. But it's the line she obeyed at once. Oh, God, that makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. Getting out of the car and shutting the door behind her. Did she feel the potential for disaster as clearly as I did? Or maybe she was just getting out of the car. Oh, God, my headphone's doing the thing again. Oh. Okay, I think I'm good. Yeah. Your line. Did it hurt her to leave as it hurt me to let her go? The only solace was that I would see her soon, sooner than she would see me. <sighs> Creepy. I smiled at that then. Rolled the window down and leaned across the speaker one more time. It was safer now with the heat of her body outside the car. Every I watch you when you sleep, Bella. Every step. Oh, God. Every step you take. Every move Ooh, you make. make. I'll be watching you. Oh, God, yeah. Basically. Ooh, ooh, so cute. And then just from her perspective... It's just, I always feel like somebody's watching me, and I got no privacy, whoa. <laughs> she turned to see what I wanted. Sickened, but curious. I'm a sickened, but a curious. <laughs> wow, your Johnny Bravo impression's even worse than mine. <laughs> well, no, I was doing the Mario one. Did someone do that as Mario? Yeah. Okay. That was just... The John I was just going with the Johnny Bravo one. Uh. <laughs> because that's what that originated. But yeah. I can't do the Johnny Bravo. I don't have enough. You already got a girl uh you already got a boyfriend? Well a girl like you needs to. That uh, deserves <laughs> two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve two boyfriends. <laughs> that's hilarious. Wow. I, I just suddenly flash back to the two wieners meme. <laughs> <laughs> How come you get two boyfriends? <laughs> Gee. Gee, how come your mom lets you have two boyfriends? <laughs> Which because... just flashes me back to this one thing of this kid talking about uh, being raised by, uh, basically it was a family where it was an open relationship where it was his mom and then both of her husbands. <laughs> it was like, I was completely out of a relationship. They all loved each other, and they all loved me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> and then you have the one of like the uh, the guy raised by a lesbian couple. <laughs> There's the whole thing of like, did anything weird come of that? It was like, well, really, there's just one thing. Like, hey, mom. Yes. No, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Which... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mom? Yes? No, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's more terrifying than running out of the to out of toilet paper when everyone in your family is deaf. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. For some reason, that post ended up on Comedy Graveyard, and it's like, no, that's, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my line? <laughs> yeah. Still I think curious? they just put up... Uh, yeah, I think they just put it there because it was from Tumblr. Oh. Uh, though she'd asked me so many questions today, my own curiosity was entirely unsatisfied. Answering her questions today had only revealed my secrets. I'd gotten little from her but my own conjectures. That wasn't fair. Kind of like how some of the stuff that ends up on I'm 14 and this is funny is really just fandom-specific jokes. Really? Yeah, and so it's like, well, no, if you had proper context, you might find this funny. Yeah. Like, I'm not defending all the jokes that are on there. I just find it to be a really stupid subreddit. I mean, at least I'm 14 and this is deep. Yeah, that stuff is a whole bunch of fake deep shit. <laughs> like, isn't it weird how we run from rain, but we sit in bathtubs full of water? Oh, yeah. It's That's also weird thoughts. how you like food. It's also weird how you like food, but you'll duck if I throw an apple at your head. <laughs> like, yeah, that's fake deep. That deserves to be on there. 
And again, there's a lot of shower thoughts that belong on that. Yeah. Oh, Bella. Fuck you, Edward. Yes? Tomorrow it's my turn. Woo? I'm on top. <laughs> oh, Before God. Her hips are broken. Your turn what? I asked the questions. Tomorrow, when we were in a safer place surrounded by witnesses... <laughs> I would get my own answers. I grinned at the thought and then turned away because she, uh, because she made no t- move to leave. Even with her outside the car, the echo of the electricity zing- uh, zinged the in-, in the air. What is this? Hotel Transylvania? <laughs> Transylvania. The whole zing thing. Weirdly enough, one of the few good Adam Sandler vehicles. Did you say vehicle? Yeah, you know, like a vehicle for a performer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, the Hotel Transylvania movie is actually bad. The animation suits this thing, uh, like, the Madcap animation suits it well. And I actually aside like from, the first one, yeah. Yeah, the first one's not... Uh, like, I enjoyed... I haven't seen the third one yet. Me neither. But the second one did have one thing I enjoyed of just like this family argument breaking out and you just had the Phantom of the Opera playing piano and like just this whole thing of like the tension in the air and just like awkward. <laughs> <laughs> and he just has this look on his face like he really doesn't want to be there right now. <laughs> like the weak point to the movies is the human character because he's kind of annoying. But yeah. Other than that, they're not bad movies. Mm hmm. It's just humans. It's always the human's fault, man. It's just that the human character is kind of annoying. Yeah. Hey. Uh, oh, I wanted to get out. I wanted to get out too to walk her to the door as an excuse to stay beside her. And then no she decided mistakes. to walk me to my house, and then I walked her to her house. It took ages. But I was gonna be the gentleman in this situation. No one was gonna fucking stop me. Hey, I want to make sure you get home safely, Edward. I'm just going to walk you home. No, 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 no. I need to walk you home. No, no, no. I need to walk you home. No, I'm walking you home. <laughs> Who's paying for the bill? I'm paying. I'm paying! Just At the waiter. The bill can be split, God, but just I... go Dutch. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, I am glad that it has started fading out the whole idea of, like, one person needing to pay the bill. I mean, pay hey, the tab. Dave. Like, pay one specific... Yourself, that bitch. Like, <laughs> but I mean, like, if it's a date or something, like, there's nothing wrong. Uh, hell, if it's a group of friends, there's nothing wrong with going Dutch. That's all my friends do is go Dutch. Yeah. Like, if you're dating, yeah, there's nothing wrong with going Dutch. Unless it's a specific thing in which one of you is trying to treat the other. Go Dutch. Who cares? Yeah. Anyway, your line. I know. I was trying to say it. Sorry. <laughs> No more mistakes. I hit the gas and then sighed as she disappeared behind me. It seemed like I was always running toward Bella or running away from her, never staying in a place. I would have to find some way to hold my ground if I were ever going to have any peace. <laughs> or finally fucking done with this bullshit, stupid ass story. Oh, God. Oh, my voice. Never yeah. have to deal with this ever again. Yeah, yeah until we. Wait. Until we end up getting around to the short second life of Brie Tanner. What? Uh, it's a short story done by uh, Stephanie Meyer about this one vampire character who didn't really matter in uh, Eclipse, I believe. We can just skip it. Which is basically an, about a newly turned vampire. Well, I'm not saying we're going to read it immediately after that. It's just after this. It's just that at some point we're going to have to get to that. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Uh, we finished this. Weirdly enough, this is like one of the few times in which we've had a story in which something that resembled an ending happened. <laughs> I guess that's one way to look at this. Because literally, like, just like what happened there, like just the whole driving off thing, that could be seen as an ending. Yep. Depending Please enter fanfictions. Yes, please. It would be greatly appreciated.